hello everyone this is Hars and you are watching WPA world in this video we are going to learn the pagination in the data grid in this pagination we have option to select the number of records to be displayed per page in the data grid you can select the count from the record per page combo box and based on that you can see the records I have added the four buttons which is used for show the first page previous page next page and last page respectively Without wasting the time, let's get started. First of all, I will design the pagination control. I want to add the pagination control just after the data grid. I will add one more row definition to grid. I will add stack panel just after the data grid, where we will create the pagination controls. Now I will upgrade the grid row for this grid. Inside the stack panel, I will add all the four buttons. Here less than symbol will not work. So to fix it, I will replace less than symbol with ampersand LT semicolon. I will set the orientation of stack panel to horizontal. I will update the third row definition height to 40. Let's give some margin to buttons and set the horizontal alignment of the stack panel to right for the better look. Now I will add the text blocks to show the current page and a number of pages and I will bind text blocks text property with respective properties. In this way we can show the current page number of number of pages. This is the simple way to show the current page number and the number of pages. But I am not going to use this method here. I will use multi binding here. Let's use the multi binding to text block text property. In multi binding I will use string format to show the current page number of number of pages text. For example, if we have three pages and we are on the first page, it will show one of three. Let's add the binding tag and set the path with respective properties. Now I will set the string format. I have to remove extra braces from here. Here first brace will empty. So we have to update the other two braces. I will replace one with zero in second brace. And I will replace two with one in the third brace. Here 0 means the first property value to be displayed which is current property. Here 1 means the second property value to be displayed which is number of pages property. Now I will set the vertical alignment of the text block to center. And I will remove these text blocks. Now it's time to create the properties which is bounded with text block text. So I will create the current page and number of pages property inside the view model. Let's create it. I want to create it fast, so I will use copy and paste method to create these properties. I am done with creation of properties. Here I will set the default value of number of pages property to 10 and I will set default value for current page property to 1. Let's run and see the result. You can see here the text 1 of 10 means it's pointed correctly. And you can also see all the four buttons here. Let's add tooltip for all buttons, so that we can know which button is used for what purpose. For the first button, I am going to set the tooltip to first page. For second button, I will set the tooltip to previous page. For the third button, I will set the tooltip to next page. And for the fourth button, I will set the tooltip to last page. Let's run and see the result. You can see here, when I am trying to mouse over to the button, it will show the respective tooltips. I want to provide the option to select the number of records to be displayed per page. So I will add the text blocks to show the text records per page and I will also add one combo box where user can select the number. Let's create it. I will add 4 options which are 10, 15, 20 and 25 to the combo box so that user can select the number of record per page from this combo box. Let's run and see the result. You can see in the combo box 4 options which are 10, 15, 20 and 25 are available. Now I will create the property called selected record. Now I will bind the selected record to the combo box selected value. I don't want to cast combo box selected item so I will replace combo box item to string. Let's replace all combo box items with string. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will learn how to implement the pagination functionality.